Hey what's up everyone it's Arno back again with the most interesting video on YouTube so i know it's been a long time after i have uploaded my last video and there are multiple reasons behind that and one of them is that i got two consecutive strikes on my YouTube channel for that reason i was unable to upload any videos for two weeks but 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 today i am back with the most interesting video on my channel and that is on yar get on and in one of my previous videos i have shown you guys how to use yar crack ng to crack wifi password and test the password security of your wifi a lot of you guys have dm me on instagram saying that you are facing a lot of problems while following those steps and i tried my best to figure out that what are the problems and try to help most of you guys a few of you guys have dm me saying that you are able to capture the wifi handshake but after that you are unable to crack those wifi password and the most important and valid reason for that is that the password that you are trying to crack is not included in the dictionary few of you guys have asked me is there any other process that we can follow and i have suggested few of you guys that use captive portal attack and so for the reason here we are with a new video on air get on so this year air get on is a very interesting tool on Kali Linux and today we'll be exploring the captive portal feature of uh, air garden tools so without wasting any more time let's roll the intro it's all about humanity So let us see what are the hardware requirements are there for today's video. So first of all, there are multiple things that you will need. So for today, I will be using a Raspberry Pi as a computer. So this is a Raspberry Pi 5B that I bought recently from I think silverelectronics.com. Or you can also visit that is the official seller in India. So you can use a Raspberry Pi. And secondly, I will be using a pen drive on which Kali Linux live boot has been flashed so that I can just plug in the pen drive and start using Kali Linux and thirdly i'll be using an wireless wi-fi adapter so over here this is a tp-link wi-fi adapter that i bought recently and it supports packet injection and monitor mode so you need a wi-fi adapter that supports these two attacks so before buying any new wi-fi adapter you should make sure that they support packet injection and monitor mode so that's all now the main thing is that you will need this type of two wi-fi adapters but i have only one so i will be using another device this so this is the device that i built recently and i have not made any videos on this topic yet so this is a multiple this can perform multiple functions and one of them is wi-fi jammer or wi-fi the author so you guys know it as a wi-fi jammer but wi-fi or jammer and the author are two different things but their functionality is pretty much same so let me just connect this wi-fi antenna over here and give you a quick go through through the device so let me just turn on the device using the deep switches so over here as you can see it is showing wi-fi jammer by my instagram id so you guys can follow me over there now it is scanning for wi-fi networks within my range so let me just give you a quick go through the options available over here so first of all we can select the different access point from the um, available access point now after that we can select the different devices then uh, we can also choose different attacks that is the authentication attack beacon frame attack and probe attacks they, they have different functionalities also, we can monitor the different packet transactions in different channels. And this thing can perform different attacks also, but I will be using the only the deauthentication functionality of this device. So if you do not have a Raspberry Pi or a deauthentication device like this, you can use your own laptop or in your PC that you have and a Wi-Fi adapter like this. So the main thing that you will need will be a Wi-Fi adapter and a laptop or PC on which the Linux based distro has been installed. So these are HP Pavilion laptop. So that's all the hardware requirements for today's video. Now let us see what are the software requirements are there. So before moving forward to the video, I just want to clarify to you guys that all the tasks that I am performing today are on my own devices. So these are the devices that I will be performing this task and these are owned by me. And the network on which I will be trying these attacks are on my own Wi-Fi router. So here, this is my own Wi-Fi router and I will be attacking on this Wi-Fi router. So you should have explicit permission to your Wi-Fi administrator or you should try this on your own Wi-Fi network because knowledge is power when used wisely and you should use this information wisely.
now from here there are two parts of this video so first of all if you type yes then you have to give the directory of the handshake that means you have already captured the handshake before handedly now we now just need to give the directory where we have saved the handshake or else we can capture the handshake right now by typing no but from here my PR getter was unable to capture the handshake I have tried multiple times but only one time it was successful but after that I have tried a lot of things but it was I think there are some problem with the driver of my Wi-Fi adapter so I was unable to do this task so, but I am showing you guys that what you should do if it works for you so first of all from here we need to type new that is n then hit enter then we need to enter the interval time interval so I am selecting 60 seconds but you can enter any values from 10 seconds to 100 but keep uh, keep in mind that you should keep it at least one minute so after entering 60 seconds hit enter it will do automatically everything do not press ctrlc or anything it will do its work automatically so whenever it will capture an wi-fi handshake it will show up here that it has captured an wi-fi handshake but if it doesn't then it will show that it has unable to capture the wi-fi handshake so if it captures the wi-fi handshake then it will ask you that where you want to save the directory so you can just open the file manager and copy the directory to where you want to save the file so it's just simple i was unable to show you guys because it was not working in my case now let's come to the second part of the video so let's quickly recap that what we need to do over here so first of all we will try to capture the handshake using air get on so just type no that we do not have the handshake and we'll try to capture the handshake using air get on now if we successfully get the air get on then i will say that one from which part you have to follow but if you're unsuccessful just go back to my previous video so from there you have to use air crack engine it is an another tool so you have to use IR Craig engine to capture the Wi-Fi handshake. So just capture the Wi-Fi handshake. So I will give you the timeline over here. So just do follow the timeline and you will be able to capture the Wi-Fi handshake using IR Craig engine. So after you have captured the Wi-Fi handshake, it will be saved in this directory over here. So just go to the directory over there. You will find the file name with the extension pcap or cap. So if your file has a cap uh, cap extension because the IR get only supports dot pcap pcap files, not cap files. So we need to convert cap file into pcap file so for that we have to just use this command so over here i am showing you this command so you just need to replace this part with the actual name of the cap file and then we have to change this part with the name of the pcap file that we need to keep so just give the directories or everything i am just showing over here just copy and paste the and name and change the name of the files that's simple is the simple i think it's very similar simple or if you are facing any difficulty just follow or ask chat gpt it will guide you through this process so after converting all the files now we need to get back so this time we need to enter why okay from here both of you guys so those who have captured wansag using yarkrag ng and those who have captured wansag using yargedon so both need to find out where the pcap file has been stored so just go to those directories and just copy the just select the file and press ctrl c it will copy the file directory so just go to the file and press ctrl c it will copy then come back over here and now over here you need to paste it using ctrl shift and then v because in the terminal to paste any command we need to press ctrl shift and v it will paste the directory of the file after placing the directory hit enter so as soon as you hit enter it will show you the bss id of the network that you have selected that is the pcap files bss id there which network networks bss id it is so over here as you can see it is showing the bss id then the channel number and then the wi-fi ess id that is the name of the wi-fi so one small note if you are facing any difficulties that it is showing that it is a wrong file then make sure that extension is right because before handedly I tried to use a cap file and it was showing that the file is corrupted or like this some type of error message will be displayed over the display so if you are getting something like that so make sure or double check that whether the extension of the file is pcap or anything else now the script will be running automatically so you need to just press enter so now it's asking for the language in which the captive portal will be displayed so I am choosing over here English after that it is asking that do you want to use the advanced captive portal I will be saying yes that is by typing Y and then hit enter so after that you just need to press enter now we have successfully launched the captive port okay from here I cannot explain to you guys anything because of the YouTube guidelines but I can just show you that what actually I am doing over here and the main purpose of creating these videos are for educational purpose only to make you guys aware about the network security of your Wi-Fi network you can just perform these attacks on your own Wi-Fi 
तो चेक द इंटीग्रिटी ऑफ योर वाइफ एंड चेक वेदर योर वाइफ इज एक्चुअली प्रोटेक्टेड अगेंस्ट दिस टाइप ऑफ अटैक्स ऑल्सो मेकिंग योर पेरेंट्स और ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स एडुकेटेड अबाउट दिस टाइप ऑफ अटैक्स सो दैट डेट डू नॉट गिव देयर पर्सनल इन्फॉर्मेशन इन टू दिस टाइप ऑफ वाईफाई नेटवर्क ओके डाउन डेट बिंग सेड नाउ लेट सी वॉट एक्चुअली आई एम डूइंग ओवर हियर सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एज यू कैन सी दिस इज अ दी ऑथेंटिकेशन मेसिन और यू कैज नो इट एज वाई फाई चैमर सो आई विल जस्ट टर्न ऑन दिस डिवाइस एंड सेट इट इन टू दी ऑथेंटिकेशन मोड ओके एज यू कैन सी इट इज नॉट यू ऑथेंटिकेशन मोड सो एज सुन एज आई स्टार्ट द अटैक इन दिस डिवाइस इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली डिसकनेक्ट माई स्मार्टफोन फ्रॉम माई वाई फाई नेटवर्क एज यू कैन सी ओवर यर सो माई स्मार्टफोन इज ट्राइंग टू रिकनेक्ट टू द ऑरिजिनल वाई फाई नेटवर्क बट इट इज अनेबल टू कनेक्ट टू द वाई फाई नेटवर्क बिकॉज द डी ऑथेंटिकेशन इज रनिंग राइट नाउ ओके नाउ इफ साम वन डजेंट नो अबाउट कैप्टिव पोर्टल अटैक्स और इविल टू इन अटैक्स सो इविल जस्ट रिगेट कनेक्ट टू दॉ इविल टू इन पर्सन ऑफ द ऑरिजिनल नेटवर्क सो दैट इज सोइंग ओवर यर्स एज इज इज अनेबल टू कनेक्ट टू द ऑरिजिनल नेटवर्क so as soon as he connects he will be uh, redirected to this type of web pages so these are called web captive portals so as soon as he enter any information over there in the captive portal it will displayed on this terminal over here so let me just test and show you an example so let me just get to into my smartphone and enter a wrong password over here so as you can see i am entering a wrong password just typing anything on the keyboard So as you can see, it's a wrong password. So as soon as I hit submit, it is showing me that the password is incorrect. Something is going wrong. So it is redirecting me to the original page of this uh, captive portal, and I have to enter again the password. So as soon as I enter again, I enter a wrong password. So let me just show you. So it's a wrong password. I hit submit. So it's showing the password is incorrect. Something uh, redirecting to the main page. So as you can see over here. So yeah, over here, the wrong password will also be shown, but it is not the wrong right password. So the attack is still running. So as soon as let me just now enter the original password of my Wi-Fi over here. Okay, I have now entered the original password. Let me just hit submit. So see, as soon as I hit submit, it is showing the password as correct. Now it is getting me connected to the Wi-Fi network, and the attack has stopped itself. So over here, as we can see, the original password of my Wi-Fi has been shown over here. Okay, that's all for today's video. If you guys have faced any difficulty in following these steps, you guys can freely DM me on Instagram. I'll be available over there to help you out. Or else you can join my Telegram group. So over there we discuss about lot of things about ethical hacking and everything about computer science. So you guys can follow me on Instagram or you guys can join me on Telegram. So that's all for today's video. On that note, I am on Nepal signing off.